the commercial cleaning industry is transforming with the implementation of artificial intelligence and the internet of things. You've heard of both of them. These cutting edge technologies are revolutionizing traditional cleaning practices, making them more efficient, effective, and sustainable. Together, AI and IoT are improving the quality and consistency of cleaning services, optimizing resource usage, and reducing operational costs, thereby setting new standards in the industry. And today, my guest has some thoughts on how the implementation of AI and IoT are changing the face of the commercial cleaning industry. So I'm pleased to welcome Todd Jones, the owner, operator, and area developer in Virginia for Office Pride Commercial Cleaning Services. So welcome, Todd, to the program. Uh, thank you, Jeff. Glad to be here. Looking forward to it. A great conversation we're going to have. Really, the topic about implementation of AI and IoT, some people think they understand it, some don't, but we're going to set some uh, records straight, I think, on how it applies really to our industry so let's let's get into it, Todd. Can you talk about how AI and IoT help with managing large groups in dispersed offsite locations and how much technology is really changing this challenge for the industry? Uh, yes, Jeff, I would. Um, it, it definitely has changed. I mean, starting with the baseline of something as simple as, uh, you know, clocking in and clocking out. I, I like to tell new managers in our area, um, who may become the workforce and, and might have experience, which is is a uh, an experience that translates into our industry um, in the fast food industry. And I'll mention a Chick Fil A, who I uh, definitely admire, and uh, I like to share with them that you know every ask, actual task done on in that store, probably most people could learn in an hour or two. Um, and 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 do well but the real trick is that uh you manage all the people doing everything um on time so that when you drive in uh two minutes later you have exactly what you ordered um hot and um and ready to go that's the trick and um so it's the same in our industry. Uh, the trick, most of our skill, uh, you know, uh, tasks are not that complicated, but it's managing managing them uh, through a large group of people. That's the real trick. Uh, and then on top of that, there's one exception between us and like a well-run Chick Fil A store is that our employees are dispersed over the whole city or over the whole region, and so there's been a lot of uh, uh, technology and i think we're just at the beginning of it the how to manage that so that an area manager let's say actually can manage uh her or his workforce just like maybe a store manager could in um in a chick-fil-a store um so probably I'll, i'd like to just start with the baseline and that is that um I think most good cleaning companies have this now, and it's basically app based um, uh, on their phones. And so when we hire an employee, um, they put an app on their phone uh, and that app actually allows them to interface with our company um, in all aspects. And you can get actual shared responsibility and, and some autonomy, more autonomy um, for that employee well what does that mean well they clock in clock out uh and a job site through the app now when they first came out with this technology it was basically um caller id on a landline but now it's a geofence around a, a site and they can clock in clock out right there if for say um they're running late um, or they're not there at their time, they can send an alert to a manager. So that's an example of technology. Also, all their um, um, pay, uh, W-2, uh, information about the company, uh, messages, um, end of the year, uh, financials, that all comes out through their app and they interface with us um, through that app. So that's, that's one example. Um, one of the new generations of that is that they can actually, we can actually, same kind of thing, look at work th workflow through a building. So if we have an area manager who might be sitting in a van 
20 miles away or 30 miles away, she can actually get on the app and see how they're progressing through the building, making sure they're on time um, through a couple different things. One would be um, the swipe technology through a NFC code or um, a QR code where they swipe it using again, their phone. Um, so if they had a bathroom, let's say we have, we have a large account and uh, we have designated times for the restrooms to be cleaned. Well, you know, the customer kind of wants us to prove that we did that. Well, when they swipe at 1045 and then they leave at, let's say, 1130, they can swipe out. And you can apply that technology throughout the, the facility. And sometimes in really large facilities, like uh, this facility is a million square feet, that can be real helpful for the manager who can see and watch workflow. And it's also a safety ad because... Um, we know exactly where everybody is. And if there was an emergency in the building, um, we can communicate with them. So Todd, I love your example of Chick-fil-A because yeah, they have a process and it works and I like their chicken. Right. So well, and their, and their product is really good. Um, um, and so I like to use them as an example, but um, you know, like our challenge is that we're not under one roof. So uh, we need more tools and they're coming out with more and more tools to be able to do that. Um, so, so are you seeing good results from this with, you mentioned employees out there in the field, all over the place, all over the city, the County, wherever it's working. This technology. Oh yes, it's working. I mean, this technology, uh, it, this one piece is a, um, is newer, but we can even, um, you know, if somebody's stalled and, and and hasn't moved for whatever reason, maybe they they got hurt on the job, or maybe there's something going on that we need to know about, um, but they can't communicate. Uh, it will actually, um, I think, it, it it raises an alert or uh, it turns orange. Uh, I haven't actually dealt with it directly, but. Um, and it will inform the manager that somebody hasn't moved for us. And then they can go and, and check on that person, make sure they're all right, or make sure, what, is there a problem? What's what's happening? So um, that is a technology that is definitely working. It's a game changer. Uh, most people have been in the business a long time. When the first technology came out based on phones, um, it got out of that whole old sign in, sign out, or even the um, time clock, it completely made it obsolete. So, obviously, commercial cleaning clients are looking for competitive pricing from companies like yours, Todd. Can you speak to being cost effective for the customer that would help with getting contracts and keeping clients? Yes. Um, you know, when we, when we, especially a, a, a larger facility, we have a, um, a plan, pre plan that we put in place. And one of the things that's uh, a pre planned on it is to actually map out and give a, a basic uh, visual on workflow. So that, um, th because it, it, any job, even if you're at home, if you have a well planned out um, systematic plan, then you're going to be the most efficient with that. Um, and so uh, this technology can help with that, making sure that we're working the, the the plan like it's supposed to be worked. Um, so that uh, allows efficiency. The other thing that um, the reports will give us is that we can provide various reports to the customer. A lot of customers don't need it, but some do, in which you can provide, you know, when they actually did the work uh, in a particular area. Um, another thing that with this kind of technology um, that provides immediate feedback and that's one of the big advantages is just inspections you know like you know you inspect what you expect well we can with this technology um actually inspect the work obviously from a, a supervisor standpoint um or a area manager standpoint of what's been done but it can even be done uh on the on a cleaner level so cleaner goes through a particular area they're finished up they they're about to swipe and um, what can pop up is a task schedule to say, okay, have you completed everything pops up? They actually, um, you know, check it off on their phone, uh, then submit it and then um, swipe out and um, go to their next section or home or wherever. And that's another um, 
avenue where you know we in management know that it's been done wrong, but that we can prove to the customer. But also, it gives the uh, the cleaner actual autonomy. They, uh, uh, you know, they're kind of running their own little program, and um, they're reminding themselves. I mean, I've I've done cleaning before. And one of the things to check is, okay, do I have all my equipment with me, my spray bottles? And then it's on that list that, uh, no, where did my glass cleaner go? Whoa, whoa, I think I left it back on Mr. Johnson's desk. <laughs> um, so those are the kind of things that um, that a checkoff sheet can provide and help the cleaner do the best job they um, can. Yeah, I like that. Not every, as you said, not every client is going to want some of this information, but if you can have that validation and show what's been done and when and how long, that's great information. That's a selling point to me that you would offer that maybe even upon request. Yeah, another aspect that I'd like to talk about um, is um, AI. And I think uh, um, some people would be a reaction of, Cleaning, commercial cleaning uh, has AI, and I would say, yes, it does. <laughs> um, and uh, we're using um, uh, two uh, robots in one of our biggest accounts, um, uh, Robotics Auto Scrubber. So it wet scrubs the, the uh, hard floor. And then we also use a vacuum um, that does the same thing. Very much like what you see in your home, um, uh, although bigger, um, but it um, it provides uh, very good work. I mean, it's it still needs to be supervised in uh, uh, in many different aspects. In the sense that once the work's done, somebody needs to go back through and make sure it was it, it was done correctly. But that's very much like if you had a person doing it. Um, the uh, uh, the other thing that I, I uh, I see it in in the future more and more of is that the cleaners um, actually frontline I'm talking about now are become more and more of a technician. Um, how so? Well, uh, in this particular building that we're using it, these two machines are working um, um, in, in parallel um, and then we have a cleaner assigned to oversee them. The machine actually uh, communicates to the cleaner um, through texting. Um, and so if the, the machine, as it's doing its job, runs into a, a challenge or an obstacle, uh, it will stop, obviously, um, and um, could text our technician or our cleaner who comes in and finds out what's going on. Very much like when you go to the grocery store now, uh, either you... Uh, agree with it or not, but you're checking yourself out. Well, obviously, I, when I go to my grocery store, I usually do that unless it's really big uh, um, group of groceries. And that person is overseeing multiple stations and only um, comes to the aid of somebody who needs it. It's the same thing here. Um, and the, the technology will do its job and will um, text the person when needed. They're actually doing other work while the the um, AI uh, the AI based um, um, machines are doing theirs. Um, it also can help in staffing, uh, you know, because uh, they're actually helping out. Uh, in tasks being done without having a person doing it. So and in many ways, it's 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 elevating the cleaner and they're being more and more responsible for more work, um, but the machines are doing them. So that's uh, uh, an avenue of uh, where AI is, um, uh, is working. Um, much like in your home, um, we have some locations throughout the country who are my colleagues that they have multiple units and they're using them actually during day, day cleaning so that um, uh, people work around them in the office uh, and they even name them. Um, so uh, I think you're going to see more and more of that technology coming to the cleaning space. Yeah, I, I like that in the self-checkout at the grocery stores you mentioned. You might like that, you might not. But that former perhaps checkout clerk is now managing a system. So there's more opportunity in the industry for cleaners to get into managing processes and jobs perhaps but but let's talk about this Todd obviously these are all great ideas 
But what are the biggest challenges contractors have in adopting all of this? Because it's not something you just flip a switch on. Right. Um, well, I mean, I would say um, one might be surprised, but I would say first is just the uh, uh, mindset. Um, you know, there's we've had, uh, you know, there's a lot of people who do work really hard in the industry uh, and they've done it in a certain way. And when you talk about putting a, uh, a robot to do the vacuuming, um, you know, they're, they're first to object to it. And so I think uh, there needs to be a mindset saying, look, in our industry, um, there are changes happening and embrace those changes. Um, sure, there's things to work through. Um, you, nothing's a silver bullet, but if you have the mindset, we're going to embrace that. And we're going to, when we go to the ISSA conference, we're going to be checking that out. Um, I think those are the people, those are the companies that are going to be here long-term because, um, um, with all the challenges in our industry, um, I think, uh, technology and, um, internet of things, um, can be real helpful. Um, when I speak speak of Internet of Things, just getting reports from the machines themselves, besides, you know, uh, auto, autonomous machines, but just even scrubbers and vacuums, uh, everything from maintenance to um, how long they're being used, um, that can all apply to our industry. So I'd say the first thing is definitely having the mindset of that. Um, also, there's the the mindset of you usually have to pay more when you're dealing with technology up front but if you go through the calculations long term um and um it can uh, be more efficient you can get more done in the same uh, time um you might be able to move towards having less people in a building uh actually overseeing uh this technology and cleaning um then it, it long term it can um it can save money um and i think that needs to be um people need to think that through and do the analysis of that um and i would say yeah i mean and i think that's where issa uh comes in big is to be a part of what's happening uh so that you have a a, a conduit you have a re um, a stream of knowledge because in our industry, like any industry, knowledge is 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 huge, and learning what the latest is, and the ISSA is a perfect platform for that. Well said. So, as we wrap up our episode today, Todd, any final thoughts? Anything we missed that you'd like to tell the industry? Um, yeah, I just would say that you know, embrace technology. Um, everything from cameras in the vans to for safety reasons um to uh you know uh, robotic uh cleaning machines uh to uh what the what you're putting in the hands of a a a, a field cleaner i mean our industry it's a little because kind of going back to uh, what we first started you could have a cleaning and have cleaning teams uh, but they can be kind of isolated um and to have an opportunity to be able to communicate with their um their supervisor with the company uh in a handheld device um even to the point where we're doing training over those uh same platforms you can do training if somebody has a problem in the field you can actually send um a video to them uh that you can talk about it you can facetime uh, obviously on a problem solving, but allowing the cleaner uh, to be more connected with the company and what the objectives are of the company, I think is um, pays big dividends. Agreed. Well, Todd, I appreciate you joining us today. And now let's see if we can help the industry.